Doctors are urging Canadians to seek medical advice before traveling to certain hot zones. Researchers in Calgary noticed a huge spike in malaria cases. Every year, more than 400 Canadians return from vacation or business trips with this potentially deadly disease. Here's Francis Salvaggio. Calgary's changing demographic is transforming the Old West into more than one of Canada's cultural capitals, but according to researchers, one of the country's malaria capitals as well. The number of cases of malaria in Calgary are going up. So in 2011, we saw somewhere between 50 to 60 cases of malaria. And the most common kind of malaria we see is the one that causes fatalities. Dr. Dylan Pillay says Calgary has seen a nearly 500% spike in malaria cases since 2000, mostly due to residents visiting relatives in their homelands in Africa and India where the mosquito transmitted parasite is prevalent. Malaria is potentially deadly, but it's also preventable. Right off the bat, it's prevention, insect precaution. So trying not to get bitten by mosquitoes, uh, generally day and night, because the mosquitoes have different life cycles and time that, times that they bite. Um, for malaria, there's malaria pills that you can take. And you can make sure they take... The problem is, researchers say only 44% of the people who came back with malaria actually took preventative measures. If you're born in a country where malaria was commonplace, you know, you may not take it as seriously as someone who's never been there before and we're, you know, we're, we're taught here to be um, wary of mosquitoes and the diseases they carry. Malaria kills more than 650,000 people globally every year. Deaths are rare among Canadians returning with the parasite, but as the number of cases rise, expert fear, so do the chance of something more serious. Francis Silvaggio, Global News, Calgary. Up next, preserving the art at a Canadian hospital to remember the toll of a deadly disease.